Okay. Where do we start? Welcome aboard. The Genoa Yachts 55. the Western Med and we are going to be taking you to Spain, Italy and France over the coming months. We are going to be sailing from Barcelona to Mallorca, Sardinia, Corsica and the French Riviera. I know that they can expect a little bit of drama. Uh, Bonifacio Marina. Guys, you can't just back up into traffic. Boats dragging. Holy sh**. What the heck is happening? Us getting into some really close little calls, right? John, I think we've got more things to worry about here. I need to clean the paddle wheel and I'm looking for a toothbrush. We are also checking out some incredible anchorages. It is windy. That is so cool. Places that feel untouched. Places where you cannot fly drones. Cabrera. Places where they have the most beautiful waters. How good is that? This is going to be a massive adventure. This has always been like a dream of ours. So we've ticked off Oz, we've ticked off Greece, Bahamas. This is our first time in the Western Med. Let's bring on Spain. But first, we're going to have to get there. We're flying from Australia to Barcelona. The trip will take us 24 hours and is made up of three flights and six aeroplane meals. We have just arrived to Barcelona and it is chaos. Really excited to get board <laughs> shorts on, find the boat, jump in the water. Once we arrive, we meet a complete stranger at the airport. We're about to meet Kelly for the very first time. One of you guys, a subscriber, oh God, so cute. <laughs> who applied to our Instagram competition and won the opportunity to join us on board. You'll be the first stranger that we've had on board. <laughs> I feel like the craziest thing I've ever done. You finally me! <laughs> we'll then break the ice while attempting to jam into this red European nugget. Boots big enough for a handbag. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Right. Realise it's way too small to fit in all our luggage. Plead for an upgrade. You got an upgrade. Swap it out. Why are all the hire cars here red? We then drive to the marina to meet our buddy Rowan. What colour car is it? Red. You won't miss it. <laughs> He's going to help us fit out our new floating home. Well, I'm going to see it. <laughs> we are about to see the 55 for the very first time. All the officials are on board. This is going to be the biggest boat we've ever sailed. It's a 55 foot, it's got a beam of about 5 metres, just over 16 metres in length, absolutely massive. This is a new design, there's nothing quite like it on the market. This is the first of its kind, this is hull number one. So we have two berths, each come with their own heads. It's a little bar fridge. Yeah, it's a bar fridge. And then a third. I love how much space there is, it's absolutely beautiful. I literally feel like I'm unpacking a house right here. My microphone. I'll be using this quite a lot throughout this trip. The deadliest creatures in the world. This has always been like a dream of ours. Ever since the idea of getting on a sailing boat and going off cruising became a thing for us. Geno have helped us achieve that by lending us this amazing boat. They trusted us. That uh, I'm also a little bit surprised <laughs> about, but they did. Thank you, Geno team. So before they change their minds, we're gonna leave Barcelona tonight. There's a huge electrical storm on the way. Plus this marina costs 200 euros a night. And we need to get Ro to Mallorca. He has a plane to catch and is only on board with us for a couple of days. What's the plan? So this is us here in Barcelona. This is where we're headed. This is Mallorca. It's one of the most beautiful islands in whole of Spain. There's a little tiny bay here, Port de Soler. Port de Soler is an insanely beautiful harbour town with surrounding mountains and delicious restaurants. We should get there. That'd be like about one o'clock tomorrow. It's... Wow, hang on. So we're like crossing, we're crossing tonight. Yeah, so we've got 16 hours. 100 miles. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not ready for this. Let's get cracking because there's a storm over there. First things first, we need to fill up the tanks with fuel. So does this fuel tank, like the fuel you put in goes into both fuel tanks or do you have no, to do them individually? Fuel over there. You want to open that, just sniff it, make sure it is definitely diesel. Did you want to sniff it? You can sniff yep. it. You sniff it. To be honest. Can't smell anything. Oh, I think really? it's empty. Around 500 bucks later, and we still had to fill the fridges and buy a heap of supplies because this boat has literally come straight out of the factory. It's never been lived in. So we are currently in the heart of Barcelona. We're going to be fitting out the boat with some items today. We've made a little list. Towels and pegs, potentially a blender, vacuum cleaner. We should get the Spanish colors. Yes, these are great. Okay, right. the okay. What else do we need? 
like um, out the main entrance. Okay, all right, we're leaving now. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Just around the corner is La Sagrada Familia. This is it here, Barcelona's most visited landmark. This looks way more spectacular from the air when you can see the scale of the other buildings. It's because nearly all the buildings in Barcelona are like a maximum of like four or five storeys. Six. Okay, six. <laughs> John and I were here years ago, but we didn't get to go inside. Uh, just wondering, are any more tickets available? You see, it's been under construction for more than a century, but in all the excitement with the boat, we completely forgot to pre-purchase tickets again. Whatever's available? No, there's nothing available. Gone. Bugger. All sold out for today. So it was at this point that the crew decided to split up. John had to go find a gas bottle to cook with, while Kel and I were in charge of buying the food. We are making progress. Barcelona is the largest city on the Mediterranean Sea, which is the body of water we're going to be sailing in for a couple of months. We won't be in a city this big again for a while, so we want to stock up on enough food to last us a couple of weeks at least. Oh God, she's so fast. I can't keep up. The cash register ladies have taken my passport in exchange for the trolleys. So this is going to be really interesting. <laughs> Turns out we weren't the only ones having problems ordering a taxi in peak hour. Just me and my gas bottle waiting for a taxi. Peak season in Barcelona can be hectic, jam-packed with people visiting from all over the world. It took us both half an hour to get a taxi. We finally found one. This lovely man decided to stop for us. We ran the trolleys back. Here she goes. That was ridiculous that we just went through. Have you ever tried shopping 350 euro later at Aldi? Those products were like missiles. How have you been? Flat out. <laughs> getting the tender, getting all the safety equipment organized. Because we're going to be sailing out into the open sea far from help as we venture over to Mallorca and over the coming weeks across to Corsica, down to Sardinia and then up along the French Riviera for this 1300 nautical mile adventure, we need to be self-sufficient. So in preparation for our maiden sail, Rowan has been busy kitting out the 55 with all the safety gear. Uh, fire extinguisher in there, one kilo. This is a grab bag. You might remember Ro on board our yacht Takana back in Australia. He helped us sell her through his broker. 38 South boat sails a few months back. What are you guys doing? Flag how you're tough. Can I put the GoPro on your head? If you want. All right, whenever you're ready. So Rose is putting a flag halyard up top of the mast. So this halyard is going to allow us to raise and lower our courtesy flags. Did someone grab that? Yeah. So just copy what I did on the other side and then I'll drop this down to you. Okay, we're done. Courtesy flags are flown by a visiting ship in foreign waters as a token of respect. There's no legal requirement to do so, but it shows that the vessel will respect the laws and sovereignty of that country. I've still never been up the mast before. Ever since learning how to sail two years ago, I've wanted to give it a crack, despite my fear of heights. I've never been in a boat's chair before. I'm just gonna go up like this. <laughs> so what am I holding on to? This is not good. I feel sick. I don't feel good at all. What do I hold on to now? Are you gonna send me to the top? Yeah, I'll just keep going. No, I think this is enough. A little bit more. You're gonna go to the first frame. <laughs> John, John, I'm being serious now. Please stop. Is this the down button? No. Oh no, whoops. What about this one? Oh no. <laughs> I'm so scared, I'm crying. That was just bloody embarrassing to be completely honest with you. There's literally gonna be poo in the bottom of this. How do people go up like all the way to the top? Yeah, at sea as well. Oh. It was a good time to have a shower for multiple reasons, but mostly though because the water tanks are being filled one last time before we get going. What I'm we're doing at the filling moment. up the water tanks. I literally just had a shower. Christina's, Christina's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> We've basically been holding oh up my over God. Christina's head for the last no. time. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Okay. Christine's gonna cook you dinner. Are we ready? I think so. Got the tender sorted, got all the safety equipment sorted. And as we're leaving, <laughs> we're unpacking extinguishers. And so... No one needs to go to shore. That's it. We were off. John's in charge of not only flying the drone, but the bow line. Rose at the helm, and Kel and I are on the stern lines. All right, you're off. The seagulls are giving us a send off. <laughs> Literally just, I think you should bring it in now. It just, it just swooped it. Oh, oh no, no, 
I think we should bring it in, babe. They're not happy. But sometimes standing your ground, being a rebel, and doing the opposite of what everyone else tells you is when the true magic happens. John kept flying and filmed our very first departure, soon to be our very first sail across the seas to Majorca. What a beautiful evening. I'm not sure how the winds are going to be for us tonight. But it wasn't the winds we had to be worried about, instead the storms. Kel and I have opted for a really quick, easy dinner tonight. Pre-made salad. <laughs> Tuna and cashews. The perfect jet lag meal with a side of night watch on the way. Our very first night. Thank you, guys. Thanks for getting us going. Let's have a really nice sail tonight, everyone. We'll be waking up in paradise. Overnight, we copped rain and a ferocious lightning storm with a bolt that got so close that our ears popped. We're just putting out the cushion to gain because we had quite a bit of rain last night. The thing is, we had no wind. So as we sail towards Port de Solaire, we finally turn off the engine. And we have put the sails up for the very first time. Oh my gosh. John's currently having his rest. We think that Roe is like no. a James Bond. Yeah. He looks like James yeah. Bond. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? Can you remind us of James Bond? I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> and like, on the boat. I'm not going to repeat what she said. Yeah. You can see the silhouette in the horizon. We're getting closer. We have around 15 nautical miles before we get to our destination. And we'll be arriving. We're obviously sailing at the moment. We're going five and a half knots in nine knots of wind. So yeah, we're going to arrive in two and a half hours. Good morning. You look fresh as a daisy. Someone who's oh, been up wow. all night. Yes, we're going royal. How was yeah. that lightning last night? It was uh, electrifying. <laughs> John and I are in the most crazy storm. No, but legitimately, that was hectic. Did you see the shot that there's like a lightning bolt going straight over the back I of your head? I did see that. I feel like it's definitely going to hit us and freaking out. Did you have a strike pretty close to I know. I, I heard and felt that. That's when I got up, I thought we were hit. There was no wind, so the, the storms were just kind of sitting there. Yeah. And they were widespread, so it's not like you could like pick your way through them. They were just all around. This next scene, we're about to do some serious multitasking. While the sails are up, John has launched the drone as we're approaching the harbour. I'm on the helm Amazing. while filming. And Roe is on the lines. We were so absorbed in flying the drone, manoeuvring the boat through the busy entrance and putting away the sails, it was only afterwards did we notice how breathtaking this place really is. After months of planning and preparation, this was the very moment we felt like the adventure had truly begun. This anchorage is really busy, so we're just trying to find a spot. John, we probably should have landed the drone. Before we get to enjoy the surrounds though, first we need to find a spot to anchor in this incredibly crowded bay. It's the only protected anchorage for miles around, and to top it off, it's right in the middle of peak season. Hello. Hello. It's super tight. Oh my gosh, this place is gorgeous. <laughs> we found a spot to anchor and together we shook off the last of our jet lag with a swim, a healthy meal. We chilled out in the sun and soaked up the charm of this beautiful Mediterranean port town. Little did we know this overflowing bay would be the setting for total mayhem as massive storms were about to roll through. Oh my god, they just hit each other. 
Join us next week for the chaos. We'll also take you to shore and show you around before you find this ridiculous bay as we explore the rugged coast and make our way towards Palma, some would say is the jewel of Mallorca. Leave us your questions about the Genoa Yachts 55 below. Follow us on Instagram and thanks for watching this far through. If you are, I take it you like this video and would be interested in seeing more of our adventures. So subscribe and click the notification bell to be alerted when the next video comes out or you can directly support the production by becoming a Patreon. Not only will you be supporting the channel, but you'll get a heap of behind the scenes footage and extra episodes that aren't available on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Oh, it's a video. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs>